Hey girls, welcome back to Heatherly Hearts. And long time no see, I've just been busy working. Um, today, as the title suggests, I'm going to use products that are all $7. Excuse this hair, y'all. I hadn't even brushed it. I'm going to use products that are all $7 or under. And they're all drugstore products. So, I'm going to start right now with this Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. And most of this I have never... Where's my hair thing? I've never used before. So, I'm going to have to be opening some of this stuff. Okay, and this is just, it's supposed to be a magic potion, fills in fine lines, wrinkles, brightens, that kind of stuff. So, this just feels like a lotion to me, pretty much. But, let's see. And I am going to be trying to use all, like, Wet n Wild. I got this Wet n Wild brush set as well. Um, just so I can use cheap, cheap brushes. Lord, y'all think I'd fix my hair before I got on here. I'm going to try to go quick, though, because I don't want this to be forever. This is the Wet n Wild BB 8-in-1 Cream. I got it in light, which is the lightest shade. I have a feeling it's probably going to be too dark. But, well, this might match. We're going to put this on. And this is just all going to be first impressions. I haven't really used anything. Except the brushes. Okay. Um. Not much coverage. It smells a little like burnt brown sugar in a weird way. <laughs> um, it's moisturizing, but see, see my dark circles in my eyes and stuff. It's just not giving much coverage at all. At all. At all. Okay, so, I mean, you can still see all my imperfections. I would say it might have evened out my skin tone a tad bit. We're already two minutes in. How is this possible? Y'all know I talk too much. Um, but let me know in the comments how everybody is. I've been just working. Um, I have used this before. It is the Catrice Camouflage Concealer, and I do like it. So, we're going to kind of buff up bump up the coverage with this. So I'm going to use it as a primer, as an eye primer, as a highlight. This I actually used one other time and it was in the morning one morning. Um, and I used it with some oil as a, as a foundation, like a cream foundation. And it, I liked it. It was good. So this may save the day. We'll have to see. Okay, so I'm just putting it everywhere that I would normally highlight. And then I'm going to blend it in. And I do like this. I think this is $6. This may be the most... No, I think this palette is $8 or 7 something. So that's the most expensive. But um, everything else is pretty pretty reasonable. Okay. I'm going to go in and let the warmth of my fingers just heat up the rest of it. And blend it in. I do like this. This is a good heavy duty heavy duty concealer fine from the drugstore so that bumped up the coverage on that poor coverage of the um wet and wild come on heather come on okay now i am going to take this it is the wet and wild dual ended contour stick and i'm sure i got the lightest shade their shades. So I'm going to use this and draw this here. as my contour and a little bit here. And this has a highlight on it as well. So I will try that out. And I think I ought to, um, I don't know if a brush is going to blend this out, but we're going to try. I'm going to use this more dense. Yeah, this is working. I like this. It's a contour color. It's a little, mm, this might not blend it out. Let's try this. It's a little warm. Yeah, this is better. This stipple brush is better. It's a little warm for a contour, but I don't mind that. Um, I am pretty fair, but I've found that I don't really mind. I don't want like a red contour, of course, but, um, 
I would say this is a little bit, it's not hard to blend out, but it's not like, it's better probably when you warm it up with your fingers because it is a cream, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then kind of go back in with a brush. It's not bad though. It's not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay. So let me go in with this highlight and let's see if we can get a little, because the other end is a highlight. We'll see if we can get a little more brightness. Oh yeah, that's really bright. Under here. I'm not sure how much more brightness we needed, but I'm going to go back in with my fingers because I found these aren't impossible to blend out, but they're much thicker than like, say, mm, the Anastasia cream or even the cream concealer that we just used from Catrice, you know? So I'm going to, that's actually looking really pretty, y'all. Um, and I do recommend this concealer from Contrice, and I would put a little dash of oil in it and mix it with a brush and use it as a cream foundation. Okay, now let me go in with the I Love Color Intensifying Shadow Base by Essence. I have used this before and I love it. It just like cancels out any discoloration you have brightens your lids and makes it like your shadows stay all day so i do like it so let me put that on before i powder and then um i had to buy a new one because i broke mine but i'm gonna set my highlighted points with the reserve your cabana by wet n wild which seems weird because it says it's a bronzer but it's obviously a highlight and it has a little bit of shimmer but not much and i just want to see what it will do under my eyes y'all let me find another wet n wild brush this will work. Let's, uh, let's set that. Because I think it'll brighten and just give a really pretty all over look without being like shimmery, you know? Clean that up. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm going to set my whole face with it. Oh, that turned out real pretty. I like it. And then, of course, I had to get the contour palette. This is the one in Caramel Toffee that everybody's raving about. So I'm going to use this to bronze or to, like, set my contour. Let me, what am I in, seven minutes in? I'm trying to make this quick, girls. Um, hello, wet my brushers. Okay, we'll just do it with this. So I'm going to use this. That's a pretty color. So I'm going to use this to kind of bronze, kind of set that contour as well. That's pretty. So far, the only thing I haven't been impressed with, well, I don't know how the primer's going to hold up, obviously, but I did like the feel of it. It just felt like a good moisturizing primer. But the only thing I haven't been impressed with is that BB cream. Everything else is going on really pretty. I hope it's showing up. pretty and because why not I'll use the yellow sometimes yellow is too um this is a good little set from wet n wild these brushes but sometimes yellow is a little bit too yellow for me like it may darken it too much but we're gonna try it set my eyes we're moving on to eyes yeah I like this powder it's really finely milled I'm glad I finally tried it I like it. It's going good. Going good. And I do have this Essence Mosaic Powder. And it's like a bronzer with a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to use a little bit of that. And let's see what, how we can, what's doing. Oh, that's pretty too. Yeah. So far, the only thing, sorry, my white balance is going, every time I look this way, for some reason, the white balance wants to go crazy. This is pretty too, y'all. The only thing that I've used so far that I don't like is the BB cream from Wet n Wild. Awesome. Okay, let's go in for a blush. And for this, I got the Essence Mosaic blush and the Berry Connection. And I got a cream blush, but I think the Essence So Blush, it's a cream blush. I think I'm gonna go in for powder just because I've already powdered my face. So I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild. I have a mirror down here, y'all, so that's what I'm looking at. That's 
it's really pretty too. Y'all, so far, products under $8 is where it's at, y'all. This is, I'm having to build it up a little bit, which is fine. I've been going for like a really blushy look lately. That's pretty. Prefery. Okay. Let's go into eyebrow. This is the Essence Eyebrow Stylist Set. And it's just, it has some stencils, which I won't use. And it has two powders. So, and it has a little brush, so we're going to use the brush it came with, and we're going to start with the lighter. Oh, this brush is kind of stiff. Okay, I'm not going to use the brush that that came with. Changed my mind. And I can't remember if this Wet n Wild set came with a brush. Yes, it did. Just not a spoolie. Okay, I'm going to use the lighter right here in the front of my brows. Okay, this is not really showing up. Y'all seeing it? It's light. Okay. And start with the darker back here. Yeah, this is showing up. Why is there glitter? It must be on the brush. Okay. Um, I like it. It's just a, you know, basic powder. Good. It's basic. Nothing to write home about, but if you're, I mean, I think this thing was $2.99 or something. The Essence Brow Styler Definer or whatever. And it's just two powders. I must have used this brush to do a glitter look, y'all, because there are glitter in my brows. That's great. <laughs> okay, let's switch brushes. This is the e.l.f. brush. It's an affordable brush as well, but I keep seeing glitter, like, in my brows, and I just did a glitter look not too long ago. And I'm thinking, and there's definitely not glitter in this product, so it was on that brush. So, I'm going to have some glitter brows to do. But I've been doing good. I'm just working, doing makeup. It's what I love to do. And I need to get back on my channel. I keep telling y'all that. But it's just, um, okay, and then I'm going to, it's just hard to do it all. And y'all know that. Y'all are working mothers and wives and women and it's just hard to do it all okay I have the essence give me brow and if I can find it I'd like to use it there it is make me brow I'm sorry it's the dupe for give me brow and this is in the color soft brownie brows and I love this stuff I use it I have used this before and I use it often it's a great dupe for give me brow by benefit and it's like three dollars okay so I'm happy with that. So let's go on to eyes. And I have been wanting to use this palette, y'all. This is the Vintage Green Palette. The Vintage Palette by um, Essence. It's beautiful. I hope that y'all can see the colors. So I'm going to go in. There's not a matte transition color in this palette. So we're going to go back to the brow colors that we were using by Essence. And we are going to use this light brown to, for a transition. Let's see how it works as a shadow. Good. Good. Okay. That's good. Works good as a transition. Okay. So, I believe I'm going to do... The sage color on the front end because I want to kind of do a green look because that's the kind of what's speaking to me in this palette so I'm going to do this sage color on the inner half oh, these are nicely pigmented y'all and pretty that's pretty so we're gonna do that on the inner half I don't want to go too far in and then I'm gonna switch the brush over and do the dark green on this outer half. Y'all know green is the Pantone color of the year, but it's like, it's called greenery, and it's like grass green. Um, very bizarre color of the year to me. 
because the other colors of the year like orchid and what was it I don't I can't recall right now they're like for makeup you can use them kind of anywhere on your face but green is pretty specific you have to kind of use the I mean you can use green lips if you want but for everyday look it's either eyes or nails pretty much or you, you know clothes colors okay that's really pretty and y'all these are so nicely pigmented I mean look at that we're gonna use that under the eye um, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a denser brush these wet n wild brushes are I think the whole set I got it for free with an order but I think regularly it's like 19 and you comes with like all the brushes in the whole line it's pretty good and they're very soft I, they're nothing to I mean they're nothing to sneeze at girls Okay, so I'm just working this into my actual crease. And then I'll probably go above it with that little bit, like a rosier color, um, to kind of give it a sunset look. Kind of what I'm going for. But these shadows are good stuff. Okay, let's see. That's too light. I'm going to mix these two colors, these two rosy colors. One's a little too dark for what I'm looking for, and one's a little too light. And I'm going to kind of go above this and make like a sunset look. Okay, there is some powder with this, but nothing that's, you know, bad. That can't be fixed by, you know, just whacking your brush good. That's pretty. Okay, and I'm going to go into this lighter color, the lightest color right here in the palette. And use it as an inner corner highlight. That's pretty. Y'all, this is a good palette. Good, good, good. And then, like, maybe this more champagne color at my brow bone. That's pretty. I am impressed, Essence. This is a really good, really good quad. Or palette. It's not a quad, Heather. Okay, I may try to darken up that green a bit. This will work on that outer corner here. So I'm going to go back into the dark green and get more of a detailed brush and just kind of build up on the outer corner because I really like the way that's looking. It's really pretty. That's pretty. I am absolutely impressed with this palette. First impression. Okay, then I think I'm going to go into this color, which is kind of a light mid-tone color, and kind of pop it like a halo effect right here and blend it into that green. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I like it. Okay, and then I'm going to take the same, like, more detailed brush and go into the green and start building it up out here to kind of get it a little bit smoky. So I'm gonna connect it here. So I think this palette is the most expensive thing in this that I've used, and I think it's seven dollars. I am highly impressed with this, with especially with Essence and Catrice, so far. Okay, there's that, and then I have this Catrice Liquid Metal Gel Eye Pencil in the color Leaf the World Behind. So I'm gonna put this in my waterline. Okay, that's going on well in the waterline. I'm still having glitter from somewhere. That went on well in the waterline. Yeah, that went well. That's nice. I don't know how it'll stay, but it's nice. I'm going to do my tight line. This is a really pretty green. It's dark, so... Okay, 
So far, so good, girls. Nothing to scoff at. Okay. Where is my eyeliner? I had a wet and wild liquid eyeliner. Where did I put it? Oh, child. Be wearing myself out, losing stuff every damn day. Every damn day. Um, I may have to may have to do something else here. Okay. So, I don't know where that went. So, that's disappointing because I wanted to use it. Okay, let me keep looking, girls. Just talk amongst yourselves. I would have edited this out, but I don't know how to edit from my phone. Y'all know the struggle's real with me and technology. Um, I don't know where that went. Okay. So, we are just going to go in with this green because I can't find it anywhere. That is disappointing. I am disappointed with you, Heather. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm going to go in and do my lash line with this green. I don't know how well it's going to stay because it feels really creamy. I'm going to have to set this, I think, with the... Um, powder. Because it doesn't... It feels really creamy, y'all. Yeah, I need to set that with that green powder. I don't see that there's any way that that's going to stay. It feels... It's not even staining my waterline. Okay, that's not staining my waterline either, y'all. Um, so let me go in back with this green powder quad and let me just set this. Remember, if you have a cream that you're having a hard time staying, always try to set it with a powder. That will usually set it in place and help your situation out tremendously. Okay, I'm not thrilled with that eyeliner, y'all. I, I got a damn fallout. Yeah, I'm... I'm thinking the eyeliner's a pass for me. It's not staining my waterline. I mean, it went on great because it's very creamy, but it's just not... It doesn't feel like it's going to be sturdy enough. So, that's... Uh, I'd pass on that and I'd pass on the BB cream. Those are the two things that I would do, that I would pass on. Okay, and y'all, I finally got my hands on the Wet n' Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders in Press, Precious Petals. Y'all, this is gorgeous. So, we're going to put this on our first with the little um, fan brush that Wet n Wild, that's in that Wet n Wild set. This is a good little brush set, y'all. Okay. That's pretty. I was worried it might be a little too dark for my skin tone, but y'all, that's pretty. I'm gonna do this with our finger. How long have I been on here? 23 minutes. Okay, we're almost done, girls. We've got lashes left to do. I'm not gonna keep y'all here forever. And, um, That's pretty, y'all. That is pretty. Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes. And this is a little Japanese lash curler. It's my favorite. Um, but don't get it at Ulta because it's $12.99. Get it at, um, on Amazon. I think it's $8.99. So this is the most expensive thing I'm using. But I'm not counting that as a product. Um, so... I'm gonna use this mascara, and everybody raves about it. It's the Essence Lash Princess, and I've seen so many raves about it, so I'm hoping that it lives up. Here's the brush. It's a regular bristle brush. And everybody talks about this mascara. Um, right off the bat, I like it. It is 
wet. It's a wet formula. It doesn't appear to have any fibers or anything in it. It's just a straight up mascara. It's pretty wet though, so I'm getting a little bit of bump back like above here, but I'll clean that up later. But I like it. It's probably a good everyday mascara. Sorry, y'all, I can't talk and do this. Yeah, this is a good mascara, y'all. It's a good drugstore mascara. Pretty. Okay, let me finish. That's pretty, y'all. 26 minutes. God, I gotta get off it here. Y'all probably like, this is taking way too long. But I do want to, first of all, I don't know how to edit on my phone because I got technological difficulties. But I do want to show y'all like in real time and what these things actually do too. So, okay. Now we're on to lips and I'm going to go in and this is one of my favorites. It's um, an Essence Lipstick and Nude Love. It's so pretty, y'all. It is very nude. That's pretty. I like it. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Okay, the mist is pretty fine for a drugstore. And I'll just have to see. I will um, I will update in the down box how everything wore. But as of right now, I love, literally, really liked, almost loved. Everything that I used today, except for the Wet n Wild BB Cream, because it just didn't do much, and the Catrice Pencil. But it is actually, it wore off a little on the waterline, but it's starting to stay now. So I'll let you know how that wears, because it could be that it's just a really good, it's a, it's an acceptable, I wouldn't say it's great, waterline color, but not a, you know, lid color. We'll just have to see. But other than that, that is it. And that I am done for the day. Now I get to stay home and work. Okay, girls, thank you for watching. I'm going to be back on this channel. i got a huge thing of empties that I need to film, and I'm, I'm going to make it a point to be back on this channel more. If you know me in real life or you're friends with me on Facebook, please tell me to get my shit together and get back on this channel more. I need to hear that more often because every all my other work is taking precedent over my channel, and I and this is, a, this is something I enjoy doing, so I should make it a priority. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye, girls.